Uh, pretty creepy place without any people. Duh. Find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty bit. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. <laughs> he sounds like a swell man. Come on, let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. I know I have to do the thing. Let me do fine. And there's policy logic keeps track of who comes in. So you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? <laughs> I was just over there, but you didn't let me sign in. I can do it, game. Shut your face. Okay. Oh. I was thinking there'd be something else there. Apparently not. Let's go follow Daniel. Hey, Aya! Over here. Okay. Step, 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 step. There's lots of stepping. Excuse me. Hello. Hey! Dr. Clamp! He's not listening. Dr. Clamp! I hear you. I need to give him a creeper voice. <clears throat> We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Silence doesn't even acknowledge their presence. Professor, we're looking for clues regard concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Gasp! What? This again? What is this? Apparently you recognize him and now you're going into super flashbacky mode. This man. I know him. I think. Apparently he was there when whatever happened to you in the hospital happened to you. Hello, little girl. We want some candy. What's wrong? You okay, eh? Y yeah. Aww. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspected the suspect mentioned that the mitochondria will be set free. Now, do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. They'd have transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we're hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> oh god, now we're going to get the science lecture. You two have absolutely no idea what true mitochondria is like. Do you? <laughs> the capitalization of this game is so funny. It's a little z. The mitochondria possess its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. I don't think that's how it works. L kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasites? That's an interesting way to describe this most fascinating creature. We can't, we can't live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? I like messing up his lines because he just capitalizes every weird word. The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to interactions between axons and dendrites. Oh god, this is a science lecture! The interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know that the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? That not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Than the combustions from last night were. For a human, for a human to burn and melt, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of flu would be a simple task with such energy. So you're saying that these mitochondria ignited these people, Professor? You may be right that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <coughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh, but when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. Okay, I'm starting to get lightheaded. <clears throat> you guys can read this for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, 
I think that's kind of how it works. <laughs> Mutates ten times faster than the cells. Um... Protection level increases, decreasing the end of the aging process. I, was, I thought aging had to do with, uh... Telomeres and the decay of, uh... DNA in the cells when cells divide. Mutation and evolution are necessarily the same thing. I mean, they overlap, but they're not the same thing. I mean, for instance, you could say, I uh, mutated and was, like, I had a mutation or a genetic deformity that resulted in being born with only one arm. I don't think that makes me genetic, or, like, evolutionarily predisposed to succeed in my environment unless my environment has something to do with only needing one arm. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Yep, the find of mitochondrial Eve. Mitochondria Eve. Mitochondria Eve or mitochondrial Eve? So yeah, according to that theory, the mitochondrial Eve theory, every single human being on the planet has the same mitochondrial DNA. Suspect near his case called herself Eve. What? <laughs> I have to make Clamp ridiculous. Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I told you all I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Ignored. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Alright, this means that we're about 22, 23 minutes in and we still haven't gotten into a single fight! I mean, the action is broken up so it's not Xenosaga levels of cutscene abuse, but still. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him! Damn straight, Daniel. That man. I've seen him before. I can't remember where. Now you're in trouble. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta go back to the station. Hey, uh, hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. Um, can you see how fast those buildings are going by him? He must be at least going 150 miles an hour, and yet now he's going to kick it into turbo? I think Daniel needs to take some driving lessons. I really like the music in this game, guys. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm gonna be humming and singing along to it every now and then. Just like I do in pretty much every other game. It has catchy background music. Yokoshi Yoko Shimamura did a really good job composing this game. And I think she's actually the composer for Kingdom Hearts as well. I'm not a fan of Kingdom Hearts, but she did both. <laughs> Hi there. Oh look, they've got the whole board with a picture of Melissa on it, and you can read Melissa, and you can also read Eve, and also something that looks suspiciously like Tim on the right-hand side. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. Oh no, we must not let another massacre happen. Damn straight, Baker! The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? Uh oh. What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine! They're at that concert! What? Daniel! Screw you, Baker! My son's in danger! <laughs> Didn't even let him finish his sentence. Aya. Hey, uh... You gonna give me another mod permit? Watch his back. Yes, sir? Yeah! Still not gonna use them! They don't have any reason to. 
Essentially what a mod permit does is it um, makes it so each weapon will have so many slots on it that you can add special abilities like it can fire three bullets at once, it can um, does extra damage, it has a grenade, etc, etc. What a mod permit does is it gives you an extra slot to put another ability in. When you can let me two up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know! As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Damn straight, Torres. Guns are not toys. And no, I can make a stronger gun. That's not the point! Fine, you geezer. See, that conversation right there was pretty much copy-pasted into uh, Final Fantasy IX as a reference. <laughs> There is a synthesis shop in the city of Limblum in Final Fantasy IX. The first time you walk in, that exact conversation takes place between the synthesis owner, whose name is Torres, and his underling, who he's teaching, Wayne. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, do we have anything to put away? No, you can't have a cannon! No, ah, go down. There we go. Mod permit! No, don't want to discard that. We have a lot of medicine. That we are probably not going to need because I always have a surplus of medicine. It's silly. Okay, before we go, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is bonus points. We have 108. That means we have enough to get one of these up. Active time doesn't bother me too much. It starts going up every level-ish or so on by its own. But you can make it go up more, which makes it so you can act sooner and more often. I prefer item capacity, because I run out of item capacity all the damn time. So we're gonna get some extra item capacity. With each level of item capacity that you go up, you can hold one extra item, I think? Which, especially... At this point in the game is really, really helpful. Oh, now we get the awesome cutscene. Because, you know, that is totally a safe way to be coming out of a police precinct. <laughs> what the hell does Melissa, no, Eve, want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. No shit! We gotta go save the people in Central Park! Damn, that thing's gonna- Got my boy involved! She's gonna pay for this! Damn straight, Daniel! We are gonna save Ben! More than once! <laughs> Not too sure about your ex-wife, though. Oh, this music! I'm so glad I have the soundtrack! And yes, I have the soundtrack. <laughs> We're going to Central Park. So we can thwart Eve's plans to do something to a whole group of people. Ben! Daniel, stop! I, got, I gotta get my boy, rookie. Nope! <laughs> Same as Carnegie Hall. You can't go inside. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. Aww. I'll go. Poor Ben. Ben's my son. He's the only family I got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. But, well, but, but. I'll get him out safe. I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. He won't do any good to him if you're dead. Good boy, Dea. <laughs> I know. Um. I thought. Ah, never mind. I don't want to spoil stuff for you guys. <laughs> Let's just keep playing. <laughs> we have cure pee. I think if you need to cure your pee, you have other issues. Also, save point. 